here to fight. This place needs a little keen folk love. My aid comes with a price. Hello, my friend.
I grow stronger every day. Are we unmuted now? All right, we are now unmuted. Great. Jesus Christ, this Te is a uh, technical difficulties. This is th this is some next level technical difficulty. It's fine. We're casting now. That's what it matters. All right. We've been casting for the last twenty minutes. We've been casting for the last twenty minutes, and we just realized. Thank goodness someone said something, because this would have gone on for even longer if no one. Thank said goodness you're wa you're reading chat. I don't. I thought you don't read chat. No, I always read chat. Well, he came for two to five. Wait, Hoi Keenfolk left. I mean, just to kill the bounty hunter, I suppose. Is he thinking of going 80? He might be thinking of going 80. Because Miss is not a played, Keenfolk is not played in, in the middle lane. I thought for sure he's going to go take middle. Uh, well, the thing is, like, he could still go for 80 here, right? Because uh, Mist hasn't been played, right? But mm -hmm. it's still okay, because the tower hasn't been taken. So technically, if you played it here right now, it, it's still decent value. I think the problem with trying to go for 80 against a Tinker deck is that one, yeah, one March one is March is like, oof I don't know. Although although to you, to be fair it's uh oh, I can see a fighting instinct. To be fair, it's uh, a little bit like negated mm -hmm. by the fact that you have two Farvins so the fact that you're playing a bunch of Prowlers all over the place does reduce a lot of the incoming damage. Like, you can basically tr make a bunch of creeps survive for, like, more than one turn. Or more than two turns, right? By the way, I really dislike that move by Stormlight. He played Fighting Instinct on the last lane. Yeah. Uh, the Fighting Instinct sets you up better in the future, but on that board, it didn't do anything, right? The two heroes just tra traded. Yeah. And your opponent just literally played a Keenfolk turret that's pressuring your Bounty Hunter in the first lane. Yeah. So, you don't have an ability to teleport or heal or anything oh uh, okay i see what you mean you just gave away a free kill i mean his line of thought is probably i'm i don't i'm just gonna concede this lane i'm not gonna do anything right that's also something that i mean is considered. the way that hoy is playing he's looking like he's going 80 because you don't keep for turret a 4 hp tower I always fight unless you're going for it. What's happening? Uh, people are just like, we can't hear your beautiful voice. <laughs> okay, so Bounty Hunter does get shot. And now I think this is where you start playing Mist. Actually, another reason why getting Bounty sniped before you could cast anything is terrible is you're pulling a Tinker deck. So. Yeah, you want to be able to cast the... Uh, the March. The March. It doesn't matter if your bounty die if you cast March. I, I find, like, there's about five reasons why that was just terrible. Okay. The Mist does not get to play it again. He just passed. Yeah. Yeah, that's... He passed without initiative either. No, he had initiative. Oh, he had, he had initiative. Oh, because his opponent gave him initiative back with the Potion of Knowledge. Yes. Man, Stormlight leads to play for initiative. What is happening? Okay, so he gets picked off, and now there is nothing in hand except for Verdant Refuges. Hoy is going to commit the Short Sword, and that is going to be it. He needs to be able to keep his Farvin alive here, I believe. It's actually so insane that Mist has been had for three turns now, it hasn't been played. It looks like one of I know, those... that's, that's crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. And Stormlight is now fighting in this lane for... I'm not Eight damage. Enough. Yeah, Hoy does not care about this. I don't yeah. think. Stormlight is definitely looking to win in the second lane and the last lane, but he's pushing damage so slowly. Like, I don't even think Hoy is actually trying to go for eighty, but like, he's gonna it's, get it. It's, it's, he's gonna get it eventually. Yeah. yeah. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised if he played Miss into the middle lane still. Okay. Right, because if he puts it in the middle lane, that's fine. Eventually, he's gonna take this first lane tower because. Uh, you could just drop Thunder Hide Pack next turn, and then it puts it on like a two turn clock or three turn clock. Hoy thinking about putting his Keef on the middle or last. He's going to opt to last. And, I mean, Tower is at what? 32? Still very healthy, so he doesn't need to give it up yet. Yeah. 
I think the other reason too is because this is Red Splash, so there's like really not much in his hand, anyways. Right. Yeah. All he's offering is a body. All right. So Miss does get committed here. Then you gotta play Prowler Vanguard. Then right. You keen folk into the middle lane as well. Oh, I, I think I'd rather keen folk into the middle lane. Oh man, the fact that he has two keen folk, that's kind of sick. He's gonna Vanguard. I'm telling you, man. This is this is the the not the Tinker counter, but it does help a lot. Because, like, if you think about it, this one armor actually makes creeps survive yep. the whole barrage of marches. And that's a big deal. Okay. Not much to play here except for uh, Track and Keenfold. He does have a way to save his... His uh, Farvin, but... There's a short sword on the other side. Steel reinforcement, normally very good. It is completely countered out by Mist of a Yeah, it was just one activation of Mist. Oh, so this is actually going to be his sacrifice lane. He plays Keenfolk Turret. On the right. To the far right. Hey, Unearth Secrets. Not bad. Unearth Secret. You know, the, the two armor is actually kind of a big deal. Like, look at how much it's cutting out. Yeah, but Mist, though. Yeah, I mean, it's going to... there's a 14-14 coming down. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Well, it might not come down, because uh, he's definitely afraid of slays. There's a slay in hand, right? Yeah. Okay, he's going to TP out. I mean, there's a slay in hand, but at the same time, um, you have to wait and see where the where, if he even deploys there. He's definitely going to deploy someone there, right? Yes. Okay, double TP out. Man, Hoy is such a sneaky player. He always does this. He so just he pretends. Pretends, man. I, yeah. I definitely in the OGA tournament where I played against him, I could tell, man, this is some sneaky bastard. <laughs> so oh, yeah, I'm here. And he always gets double TPs too. That tells me because I don't get double TPs. All right, gets shot. Put on the cloak. Actually, I don't, do you, does he even need the cloak? You can just finding instant and call it a day. Yeah. Left with three health though. Is that? Are you scared of anything at three health? Not with four armor. <laughs> four what armor. What the hell are you gonna do? What if you get gang gang by Janata? Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So like this play is actually so good because yeah. it actually messes up Stormlight's deploy so badly. Yeah. It's like you get scared because Hoy is showing so much AD potential in the first lane. And then he just like does a 180. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna kill you in the last lane. I still have Thunder Hide in hand. And you see a deploy like this, and you're like, oh, I lost. Yeah. This is a. It's over moment. Well, but you did stop the uh, 80. I'm ready for. It's 135. Hey, there's a march in hand too. Hey. What is the march doing? Kills this creep. That's actually pretty big, because a 14, 14 will land in front of a creep. Just kidding, there's a King Folk turret. Yeah. Oh, he has another teleport scroll? I mean, this guy's good. <laughs> he's good at finding these. Yeah, he's really good at finding TPs. Maybe he has a trick. When when you're a, when you're playing deployment really well and you have more TPs than your opponent, it's just It's such an upkill climb for them. Yeah. I forgot who it was that said uh, Blink Dagger and TPs aren't that good when you're better. Bruno. Was it? Bruno said that. <laughs> yeah, that's actually not true. The better you are, the more effective Blinks and TPs are, honestly. Well, I think what he's trying to say is that you're less reliant you're on You're less TP. reliant, yes. yes. Which is, I think, true. It is true. But damn. But when they're better than you and they have more TP than you? Yeah. Mm. You are going to get annihilated. Because this is just this is like the most this is like the most ankle breaking game I've ever seen. <laughs> it really is an ankle breaker. I cooked up something special All right. just for you. He put the march in here, so I mean this game is like trying to upkeep kill things, and then yeah. he's like, nope, nope. This is ankle breaker. This, oh is, my. this is ankle breaker right here. Yeah, give him a track too. Just be like, see ya. I see you. Yeah. <laughs> Which one are you gonna track? This one? This one? Mm, they're about the same. Probably the Tinker. This one's gonna have three health. This one's gonna have five. 
It doesn't really make a difference. I don't think there's anything in hand. There's no, like... Is he running hip fire? Oh, yeah, that's hip fire. Maybe he'll draw hip fire. Okay. Okay, fighting instinct. Keith is very strong. But also very sad. He's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. That was uh, extremely convincing from yeah. Poi. Stormlight didn't even get a chance to play his red cards. And we, I think when we were looking at deck list, we were saying, oh, Hoist deck doesn't look anything special. Yeah. But, but damn, he knows how to play it. Yeah, he... This is how you get good at draft. You don't need to have good decks. You just outplay people. Well, let's not get too crazy. You do need... Uh... I mean, Stormlight has a better deck. You think so? Yes. He's got a Tinker. He's got two... Spring the trap from his red. Yeah, I mean, the he can... splash is amazing. I mean, to be, to be fair, while that is true, he uh, didn't manage to draw March until the turn he lost, and he also didn't manage to draw any springs. Sure, he he's got perhaps a, a little bit of low row. Yeah. But the way he like, for example, with that turn where Bounty just died for free. What if he drew March then? It's like stuff like that. That is true. That is true. Is that a Ravenous Mass? That is a Ravenous Mass. Okay. You know, Ravenous Mass is not as as much of a joke card as you would think. It's actually pretty it's good. It's actually pretty good. The the best uh uh the be the best application of it, by the way, was when me and Kevin were casting and hyped dra drafted Ravenous Mass, Bounty Hunter, right? And basically he he put Revtel Signets mm -hmm. on every one that he would eat with a Ravenous Mass. Okay. So it only feed two gold. I see. And the Ravis Mask would become a gigantic, and it was a free teleport. Out. It's a free TP. That's yeah. a big thing. That's the biggest thing. You could push towers with Ravenous Mask with your heroes out of the lane. Yes. So I was like, huh, this is actually kind of cool. This is actually really good. Yeah. I wish cards like that are not rare, so you could play with it a bit more in draft. Mm -hmm. But they knew. They knew it was OP, so they made it rare. So I think people... they made it rare because of the complexity is a bit higher than... Like this right here. Want to TP out? You can make an uh, a ravenous make match. a twelve six ravenous right here. Actually, not bad. Probably bad. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good turn out, Glody. Or Siguri, as they say. The red mist is here. Ooh. Initiative for pickoff or pick gank is really good. I I would like to see pickoff. Interesting He's, is where do you see pickoff? Because the last lane, K K PA and Keith are trading as well. I would like to see a pickoff here for green. Yeah, and then I would like to see a. Well, you can. I don't think you need to gank this early. Maybe maybe you would consider it. I don't know. Would you consider ganking? You can gank from the last lane. Just trade your PA. You have the Keef stuck, and then you just get out of the lane. Mm, I think trading is okay, too. This would be the turn to try to kill Enchantress, because mana 5, you imagine she's going to draw one of her signature cards. You need the place fortified? I'm on it. I'm on it. I think Hoy just trades. He, he probably does not gank. Okay. And then he ganks. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the reason why I ask is because, like, if you do end up ganking, it's just, um, if you do end up ganking, it's like, you force them to deploy into that lane, basically, because yeah. there's only one hero each. You don't gain too much value, right? Because there's a black hero coming in, so yeah. if you kill Bounty Hunter... He'll just deploy there. He'll just deploy Tinker, yeah. so... That's true. So far, not much track luck for either player. And I think that's hurting Stormlight, because Stormlight needs to high roll a bit um, with his Horn of the Alpha in his deck. I mean, honestly, he can hit 25 gold with his deck without even tracking. Who? Stormlight? Stormlight, yeah. I think I think he has enough tools to, to, to get it by, like, mana 8. Right. Only problem is uh, you're not going to have any items all the way until then. <laughs> mana 5, does he draw March? That's like, how good you are as a Tinker player. Do you draw March? Oh, I see. Looks like Hoy is a really good Keith player because he drew two fighting <laughs> instincts. 
No, that makes you a bad, bad Keith player. A good Keith player never draws fighting instincts. Okay, I like a uh, Rebel Decoy for, for Hoi, but he's gonna pass. He wants initiative for something. Hipfire is in hand, but it doesn't do anything to Mazzy. Maybe maybe he's considering um, ganking with mid lane, if since he has initiative. Ganking what? Mazzy. Well, so basically, if he procs Janata, he can kill Mazzy. But he also dies. He also dies. Yeah, I guess it's not really worth it. You could cloak and then gank. Well, does that does that kill Keith if he eats? I don't think so. Yeah, actually, yeah, it does. It gives him exactly ten. Eight, nine. Does he survive? It's exactly ten. Does he survive that? Yes, he does. It gives him eight. Yeah. Health. I don't know about. But then, but then the moment he fighting instincts, uh, it's. That might be a uh, there one, one blocker situation. There you go. Your opponent also has four item hand to to go for that is. Yeah, I think it's just a blocker. But watch him eat it. <laughs> If he if he eats it now, they'll trade in two turns. They both live. One one blocker is questionable. I mean, using it as a blocker is is sad. Yes, you're playing four mana for a one one wall. Yeah. Which sometimes happens. Yeah, when you're trying to prevent lethal, not when you're at forty health. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't save it for the last. Level. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying too. You could just put it next to the melee creep, eat it right now, and then push and then, a little bit of damage. Eventually, you can eat the tinker. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm not. I, I do not like that play at all. So he does proc the Janata. So he could he could cloak, and then gank. I mean, ganking not, doesn't do anything though. Yeah, it's, it's like, not enough. I think you're gonna find better value with gang eventually. There's no need to rush it. Um, play uh, shaman what you need. I mean, I, I like slaying. Push for eleven. It's really good. Not against this deck. Really? Don't don't they have thunder hides? No, that you're thinking of uh, the other deck from last game, or sorry, you're thinking of Hoy's deck. Oh, okay. This deck only has rose leaf. That's it. Okay. I definitely could see him slay then. Yeah. Hoy plays very aggressively at, at points. I mean, aggressive or not, the fact that you're hitting for 10 damage is really good. I also like just playing Keenfolk. Uh, I like Keenfolk. Keenfolk or even Prowler to make sure that your heroes are not taking that much damage. Okay, that's that's fine. I, I like that too. Okay. Slay for 10. Slay for 12. Short slay for 14. Long. Let's go. Put all them swords on. The sword will do two damage to Mazzy, which is actually kind of significant, because um, if you play Keenful, you kill him in two turns. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna save his sword. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if you have Tinker in deck if you never draw Tinker's card. Yeah, that's that's kind of how it is. He does have Unearthed Secrets. If he plays it, he can start drawing cards. So Hoy is going to go all in on the first lane. He really wants to control it. Stormlight doesn't want to give up either. Going to deploy here as well. So PA could kill Maz with a gang, right? Yes. The damage is exact. But I don't think you need to. Because well, I think I think the moment... It, oh, never mind. He's changing his deploy. If I saw this deploy, though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't gank. I think I would be able to take this without even using gank. Sure. I would actually just gank from here to the first lane of anything. Farvin is at two health, one health. This one? Yeah. This one's three. Okay. I'm sitting very far away. I need to update my prescription. Oh. Double coup drawn. There's that march. March would be very, very good here. Especially since he's already pushed it down to 19 life. That's actually uh, pretty significant. Well, there's no difference between casting March here or the last lane, so he could just cast a more important card. Yeah. Who cool is, cool like, is happening, right? Well, here's the thing, right? 
I guess it makes no difference. Like, look at his hand. He's got nothing. <laughs> you can play Red Mist Pillager to block. The thing, the thing about this deck is, uh, actually, you know what I want to see? I want to see new orders to kill this Keef. That's probably a good idea. I think, I think Keef's gonna coot right now. So there's no new orders. He's gonna go for bounty. Okay. That you must die. Okay. Had to discard his gank. Uh, his hand is pretty dumpster. He's got nothing but new orders. You're not gonna play Red Mist Pillager here. That's. You can. I, I mean, you can, you just, you really don't want to. I mean, he played a uh, Ravenous Mass as a woman blocker, so. That's true. That is true. Upkeep kill. This just set up sirens in Hoy's head. I would not be surprised to see a south if he could afford a south. I guess he needs to south Farvin in the middle lane as well. He doesn't actually need to though. You can play a blocker for this. You can play a blocker for this, yeah. This is blaring red lights going on right now. Yeah. You see this play and you're just thinking to yourself. He already would trade with me in two turns, so why would he do two more damage right now? And Using then... a single card. Yeah. This is actually such a telegraph play. Yeah. And I find that a lot of beginner players uh, make this play a lot. And it just... Not to say a Storm likes uh, a beginner player, but it just doesn't work very well. Mm -hmm. That's the type of play you can only do when you exhaust your opponent's resources and you know they have no items. Yeah. You see, like, no items in hand or they have, like, two cards in hand. Yeah. Or you know they're very, very unlikely to have right. enough healing. Yeah. Like, if you see them use multiple healing cards, then you're just like, okay. Okay, so you can't block anymore, but he does have another coup in hand. Although the coup doesn't really matter, huh? You can just swap with the Enchantress. Honestly, I think he's just hit fire here. Hit fire to 2 3. You're just happy with uh, the exchange. Well, maybe you're not happy, but. Oh, he's gonna coup. Oh, I like this one. Coup pushes in 12. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. And now, now there's nothing he can do. Yeah. Okay. So he's gonna march anyways to the first lane, without a doubt. March, march, march. Okay, so this time he is drawing his good cards. That's the first mist or march played, and he does have Spring the Trap as well. Yep. So Spring the Trap is going to be pretty big in this first lane. Well, he doesn't have initiative. With that said, though, uh, Hoy also already used played two coups. Yeah, he already played two coups. That is an hourglass. I think hourglass in this matchup is, is manageable. I think hourglass is quite overrated. It's good. It's really good. I think people are comparing it to the coming of Jesus or something. Like that. Ain't that good. Very good in certain matchups, but I agree. Let's see. Hit fire pushes four. Nothing really looks good. Nothing really looks great, yeah. I think you just... If anything, I'd, I'd rather just see a bunch of vanguards come out. What do you need, Shaman? This is most definitely a slate, right? I don't, I don't actually know. He might, he might be considering playing, like, uh, vanguard and then, like, rebel decoy out. So you can save your Farvin. Okay, I like that a lot, actually. Because because what's gonna happen is uh, if you if you vanguard and rebel decoy here, you save your Farvin, and then you can next turn you can or from the middle lane you can play Keenfolk into here. Your death was foretold. Okay, it's gonna Keenfolk here. 
That's the same as playing a um, Prowler Vanguard. Because now once he shoots that creep, the 2-2 two -two creep, the, the board will shrink. Yeah. And then he could play the Rebel, Rebel Decoy. decoy. You know, I, I know you talked about the uh, the vanguards and and Farben being okay against March. It still hurts. It still hurts. It still hurts a lot. It's it like it still hurts a lot. Well, the thing is, first of all, he hasn't played any vanguards. That's the first problem. So it's only a Farben giving one armor. Yeah. I'll give my life for the rebellion. Oh, it definitely saves that that creep next turn. Yeah. This is where Hoy really hopes he doesn't see a second March because that would be backbreaking. Has he proc Janata like every single time? Yes, I think so. I'm just the beginning. Oh. Easiest hit fire. Easiest life. hit fire. And he gets initiative. Nice. I miss Villager really bad on defense. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Wow. That is impressive. Would you just payday here? Before no, he has a he has a horn in his deck. I think he needs to get uh get some hero kills. Which I don't think he has been able to pick up any hero kills. And then is that a healing self picked up? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, spring root top deck, perfect. If he finds a second, no, he march, already he already had that. He already had this. Okay. If if he finds a second march, I think, I think he can win. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't find it. It is locked though. That is one thing. But Roseleaf right now would be pretty damn good. Do you see March doing work? It's like, man, it's so good. Like this is set up for upkeep. This is on upkeep. He can only heal one person right now, so this is actually really problematic for him. He needs to play vanguards if he wants to survive. Yeah. Like all of these heroes are just, are threatened right now. Like. PA is going to die to this creep. To this creep. This is on upkeep. This is on upkeep. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. I mean, the Kingfolk turret should have shot the. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, so you, so you you're don't, fine you don't die to upkeep. This is dying on upkeep, and this will die on upkeep. Uh, he's going to heal the Farvin here, which means uh, I think the Vanguard will come over here then. Yes. So nothing's going to. So die. nothing's going to die. So you buy yourself one more turn. Right now, Stormlight waiting for the shot, and then he's going to play Springwood. Okay. So Slay's going to come down. That does mean that this is going to get up. Yeah, I think it's okay to get one of your green hero up you killed. Because you have another one. Yeah, yeah, and you're pushing a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about a lot, but it's good. The sad part is he's unable to get a, a kill. So he can't payday still. Okay, second Keenful comes out. That's gonna hurt a lot. Okay. Stormlike is looking for Spring the Trap and March of Machines. Yep. March of the Machines. Right now his hand is not bad though. Like he's got um, Remusk in hand, and he's got Verdant Refuge, and he's got a Gang in hand. Like it's not, it's not bad. I mean, that march pushing for damage is incredible. Yes, considering he's at 9 life. Yeah, and Hoi, last lane tower is dead. And... Yeah, he's running out of steam right now. Like, all he can do right now is turtle with Prowler Vanguard and Remus. So he has to block Keef. Wait, doesn't he just die this turn? Mm, he doesn't die. Because you have, you have two Prowlers, right? So you can block Keef and you can block uh, Bounty There's Hunter. a gank in hand. Oh, that's true. Let's see if he, let's let's see how they navigate through it. Because from our perspective, Stormlight does have the win here. Yeah. You know why uh, March is good? It upkeep kills creeps. So the reason that's good is like creeps are there the previous turn to block heroes, and after deploy, they're they're just gone. So that means holes are open and. Bounty, Keith gets a push tower. It's not just about the two damage that you get. Obviously, that's a huge part of it, but the upkeep kill on creeps is such an insane pushing potential. I think 
if he plays gank right now, there's... He doesn't need to. He has lethal right now, so he can That's just true. chill. That's true. He can just chill. Well, he's going to do it anyways. This game's over. Yeah. So this game is actually just straight up over. You, you see the power of March? He drew one turn late. Yeah. He drew one March, and one this, game, late, yeah. this game just won, was won. I think Hoy needs to adapt and not be as stubborn for the... I'm going to put four here on one lane, because the, the way he played the game, one plays around March much better. Just pressure all three lanes, and then finally pick the one that you, you think you have the highest chance. I felt like he committed a bit earlier this time, and what you mean, got punished for it. That's game, right? He's got one mana, the Keenfolk Tourists don't do anything, he can't go for a draw. Yeah. That is it. Sorry. Quit out, don't even let him payday for 25. That's all it took. Man, Tinker is such a good last lane here. I tell you, his deck is insane. Storm likes. What a difference it made. Being able to play Spring the Trap. Spring the Trap did so much work. Yeah. Because it was Spring the Trap with a March of the Machines on top of it. That's actually like just so much combat strength. It also makes playing against this deck so hard because all those cards are global, right? You yes. think you're pushing a lane all of a sudden centaurs and machines coming down. Oh. Mercenary Exiles in hand for turn one. That is hype. Do you play it turn one? Yeah, in the mid lane. Right here, you, you wrecked that creep, bro. Dang, look at that, turn one kill. All right, well, Hoisin already on the back foot. All right, pump it. If you're willing to pay, we're willing to pay. <laughs> For the viewers at home, uh, if you pump it there, you, you spend the one gold and does nothing. Because you need to at least spend two gold for it to do anything. <laughs> Play of the visual! Oh, he only has six. Glad to see people are, are picking up Blade of the Vigil. Blade of the Vigil is actually like... I, I feel like Blade of the Vigil is like a mandatory pickup now. If you're running nothing but like... Red, black. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. So, there, item wise in draft, Blink Dagger is S tier. Yes, it's S -tier. is Blade of the Vigil at that tier? If you're playing, I I think uh, Blade of the Vigil is like A tier, when you're playing decks that don't have any clear. I think it's just A tier. Yeah. Period. Oh, that's fine. For forget about clear or not, it's just like. I I'm I'm. The reason tempted to put him in the same tier as Blink Dagger right now for me. The, re the reason why I say this is because, like, if you're playing a... Uh, let's say, for example, you're playing a blue-green deck mm -hmm. that's very, like, creep-focused. It is so hard to even make 7 gold, you know? True. That, that, that's why I, I, I have a hard time, like, justifying it in S tier. Because it's not... Okay, I can see that. It's not like Blink Dagger, right? Perfect for all scenarios. Okay, Track comes out. He's going to get wrecked by... Uh, Layla? Is I'll that the that name? Attention. Lila? Lila. I think Blink Dagger is overrated. Hipster, hipster uh, opinion. You literally just put it in S tier and you say it's overrated. It's really good, but people think it's... You buy it all the time. I don't think you should buy it all the time. No, of course not. Situational. Situational. Everything is situational. Put it in S tier is overrated. <laughs> it's actually so dumb. Making it, making S tier is overrated. Should, all right. I, should I be like tied right, time? All right. This game is over, right? Yeah, it really is. Th there's two springs and a march of the machines. This has got to be over, right? Yeah, it really is. Storm like advances once again. Because <laughs> what's gonna happen is, next turn, Tinker's gonna come into the last lane, just like just like always. Enchantress can either go first or second lane. And then we're going to see a march into the first lane, most likely, or the second lane, depending on where he wants to fight. And then the next turn after that, Mazzy deploys, and then Keef and Mazzy are going to spring centaurs all over the fucking place. I agree with everything except I will put Tinker in the first lane next turn. You just straight just, up march. Just march. Okay. Okay, so pick off, going to hit the middle lane, and then uh, 
Do you combat training here? Depends on how much you want the initiative. Well. It's actually pretty important, huh? Yeah, you don't want your Tinker to get killed. Well, with. there's no way he dies right here. I don't know. What if you get ganked or something? That's you, true. You never know. Gank is very likely, you're right. I, was th I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking of like hip fire and stuff. No, no. Play for the first lane, my friend. I swear, if Hoy draws cloak and gank, and he doesn't have to play the march, I will laugh. Yeah, yeah you're, you're absolutely right about playing around march. That is... It's your best card. Okay, he does game. not have it. Ooh, right. combat training. Combat training. I needed this Cloak. The job. Cloak. <laughs> watching so watching item the battles. Visual. Oh, dude. <laughs> watching item battles is the funniest. You know, if he was going to place it here, I'd rather him just place it in the last lane at this point. You know? Why? Because if you place it in the last lane, same thing as always. You should know by now. After watch, after playing Hoy for two games, mm -hmm. that he does not care about the last lane. So putting Tinker in the last lane is like a free tower, and you can just play your march from the last lane. Yeah, but maybe he felt like he needed the hero here, which he kind of does. Oh, my machines will tear you apart. There you go, upkeep kill. Upkeep kill. Yeah, that armor, man, it's going to save. In that situation where I pointed out last game, if you look back to the first lane, where... Keef is currently getting blocked by the bounty. Yeah. And then next turn, the upkeep kill happens, and then and he's, he's pushing, pushing for, for 10. 10. Yeah. yeah, it's just like... That's why March is such a good offensive card. Not not the whole 2 damage thinger. Yo, he can pump. For the glory of Look Hall. for an arrow. It's okay if he doesn't get it. He can pump the 3 gold. Puts it into 3-3. Three, three. Trades with Tinker. 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 Tinker says IDC. I done my job already. Dude. Okay, and then Burning Oil... Very nice for the last lane. That burning oil actually would have wrecked him if he went last lane. His tinker would have died. <laughs> would have died in three turns. Although I guess if your tinker goes in for three turns, it's alright. That's fine, dude. That's twenty-one damage. Yeah. Man, what a card! Burning oil, one mana. Hold. Hold. <laughs> Hold, to Natasha. Dude, Natasha is so hype, man. Our PA pretty much has to go in the first lane, I think. Okay, we are at six mana. No spring yet. Normally in this position, I'd be like, "Oh man, Stormlight has only done four damage." I ain't worried. If I was, if I'm in Stormlight's position, I'm like, I'm just looking at my hand. I'm like, yeah, I, I got the firepower. Yeah. If he draws another uh, march, that's actually super problematic for for Hoy. Okay, lines up in front of the Hellbear. So oh, he's gonna kill everything. Oh my god. Thanks. Alright, calm down. This is two units. I mean, pushing 10 right now. That's all I'm saying. Technically 12, because he just did two damage with Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good top deck here for Hoy. He gets to pick off the Keen, uh, the Keef with the Keef Okay. Only one item in hand. See if he decides to go for it, because it it is a very lengthy process, right? Like if his if Stormlight actually has something to stop it, which does seem kind of likely. Right? Yeah, it's pretty likely. I mean, you still play it though. I think you still play it. That's true. It'll be funny. Well, I mean, the thing is, you can also play Prowler. This is also cool. You're setting up another upkeep kill. Yeah. I mean, there's a cloak in hand, so. The funny thing is, he could have a uh, ravenous mass between two heroes and <laughs> made a <laughs> omega, <laughs> omega ravenous mass. <laughs> that would have been such a bad play. <laughs> the most terrible play I've ever seen him. He did that. Okay, he's going to watch his Keef go bye bye. You know what I would have liked to see him do? You think he should have? I think he should have phased. Yeah, but then the, the thing, the six one two would have survived and push you for a lot of damage. True. What? Oh, because he doesn't get the upkeep anymore. Yeah. 
No, this is fine. He's setting himself to get up, keep killed by the game book through. <laughs> Why you laugh? It's true. It's true. Okay, he doesn't need to play anything here anymore. And the best, the funniest thing is, Stormlight came into this lane and he actually has nothing to do. Got him. Oh, got that. him. Safety up. Ma good. Mazzy did not need to come here. Really did not. Yeah, Mazzy actually offered nothing. And now he's stuck here. He, I mean, luckily for him, you know, he's here for Spring the Trap, but... Well, you say luckily, but if he draws Bird and Refuge, then Mana gets a little cramped. Oops. Yeah, I think Mazzy should have went to the last lane, because Mazzy has three armor, so you don't care about Burning Oil. You're just like... You know, when I said that I'm not worried in Slumber Likes' position, I'm, I'm quite worried now seeing the deploy. Yeah. Because that first lane looks a little spook. Well, he's going to put... So he's going to put Tinker there, I imagine. Is he? Yeah. He's going to put Tinker in the first lane, and then Mazzy should spring right. You might put Tinker right. I mean, if you put Tinker right, whatever. I, I mean, it's, it's fine. I think it's okay. You're not stacking up your black heroes. It's... Whoa. No. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. This is some questionable whoa. deploy. First or last lane? I'm okay with both. So I also got 17 gold. Let's see if he picked up anything nice. I mean, seeing Storm like draw his Exodia piece like three out of four games, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if he got payday right now. Oh, he might have spent all his money already. Oh, he spent all his money. Okay, okay. Some nice pickups. Springwood. Whenever you get full heal value, Springwood feels good. Feels good. Hoy, uh, picking up his TP, as per usual. Oh, Ravenous. You just slap the spring root right in front of Ravenous and be like, all right. Where are you at? Wait, don't you just shoot it? Yeah, why didn't you just shoot it? So so why did Storm like play that into it? He's baiting him. Okay. For the disciple. You think Hoy's... Uh, Hoy's aware of that? Hoy seems to be aware of that. Hoy's not shooting it immediately. He's he's not shooting it immediately because he's like Why? He's think he's thinking, is Storm like bad? <laughs> That's what he's thinking. Yeah. Alright, if Storm like you know what would be even funnier if he is if he didn't play right. Disciple. <laughs> what if he just plays track? No, he's he's not. He's not gonna he's, he's gonna disciple. He's gonna disciple. The disciple is not exactly great. Yeah, sure, your disciple survives this oh, turn. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. What if he plays disciple? He plays disciple and then he verdant refuges this lane. It survives Keenful. Yes, but you're also not playing Spring the Trap, so. <laughs> I mean, Spring Road's gonna come down and it's gonna wreck him. No, he's fine. What do you mean he's fine? <laughs> he's fine. He did eight. Okay, got him. Spring. Yeah, your suggestion of uh, Bird and Refuge got me a little worried there. <laughs> All right, another powerful Keith moment. Oh, that's right. He's gonna bring Ryan Spring left oh, again. Oh baby! This is fucking. Oh my god, it's so ugly. It's ugly. Well, Keith is gonna get a free free pass out. Gets rid of that track as well. I mean, you definitely blink right. Here. You definitely blink right. Because you still need to push the damage. So, yeah. So this is still doing nineteen. That's some big some big damage. It's really good. Spring yeah. left. And then you spring left. And the. Uh, the then, nice, the nice thing is you can cloak up your tinker and you can gank too. March has one more, one more brown left. Is that, is that right? What was that? Does March of the machine has one more round left? Yes. That sucks for for Hoy. If he's gonna quad deploy left, which he might, Ooh, like everyone's this. gonna take two. Uh, well, the thing is, okay, so Keith has three armor. He doesn't care. 
and both of them have cloaks, so it's okay. it's okay. Yeah, and it's do you think enough. he quad deploys left? I think he will. Yeah, I think he will as well. Yeah. Hands a little light though. Actually, he might actually outmaneuver. He might actually outmaneuver him. What if he just comes into this lane? I think because there's a blind, it's a little harder to fight. There's two hero. Whereas the first lane, at most, there's just Keith. Right? Yeah, but there's also four centaurs. centaurs. I mean, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about the centaurs. If he went, I think he should go right. I think he quad deploys left. Really? I mean, it's Hoy. He doesn't fight for the last lane. First lane only. I mean, to be fair, he has a Keenfolk turret here. He can kill yeah. off the Disciple first. That's the key thing, I think. I wonder if he's... He's probably going to spend his initiative doing that unless he draws Critic Raw. If you draw Critic Raw, then he just... Yes. Snap kill the, the hero. And I think he will draw. Just a feeling. Gotta be ready. That's a lot of red X's. For now. I bet he wishes he had his Blade of the Vigil. <laughs> Blade of the Vigil would be amazing here. No can deny the sisterhood. That Remove. red mist pillager is gonna come down to you, or or Tox Arm Ripper. Dude, this Keef, man. 11.15. Or 10.15. Combat training. Alright. My man's gonna get slain. In a moment. You know, he might maybe... No, there's no way. Is there any way to save the... Bounty no, hunt? Bounty's dead. No thinking he, he's thinking whether he needs to play the Prowler Vanguard in front of the 727 before slaying. Probably not. I think he's going to play it between Farvin and, and Phantom Assassin. Yeah, I think so too. I love Payday. Now he's just praying that there's no... Uh, no more March? No more March, yeah. I think you, need, you should cloak your Farvin. You play your, you? Yeah, you cloak your Farvin because you're playing around gank, too, which he actually has, right? Because even though you had four armor, you still die if you don't cloak because you only have two health. This would kill. I'll make it a little safer. Yikes. Yeah, that's yikes. This is, uh... Oh, Tiber. Oh, he grows. Trust in the the man grows. Okay. Any, any good gank target? I mean, Red Mist is really good here. Against, uh... Oh, just kidding, yeah. <laughs> Not really bad here. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, is that a meme here? The only, the, only, uh, the only way it works is if you double Verdant in here. Single Verdant. No, uh, single Verdant. Take one damage, you make Single Verdant right. doesn't feel very good either, though, because you're gonna lose them every other turn. You get a Senpai, and then you lose a Senpai. Yeah. Uh, gank targets, you only do 7 damage. So nothing dies. You can only gank a prowler. Get, get that prowler, dude. Maybe he's what like. Do you need, maybe he's like. I need to gank Tiber. Oh, he ganked it. I was only kidding about ganking the prowler. Yeah, I was only gank joking about that. But it does put more pressure on, makes his board wider, uh, reduces one armor from his opponents. I'm not sure if any of that is relevant, <laughs> apart from <laughs> apart from making the board wider. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Ooh, TP. Look at Hoy. Professional player. He actually needs it too. Cause I don't think he's gonna be able to push eighty. Well, actually, you know, he has a bounty hunter deploying next turn. And he has a disciple in hand. It's actually kind of doable. Mm, he needs to go left with bounty. I think he's dying. All well, the creeps okay. are really not good for him. Yeah, the creeps are not good for him. Yeah, that, that means he has a TP out. If Hoy top decks another marsh, he wins this game. You mean Stormlike? Yes, that's what I mean. Stormlike. Another gank. Oh, there's that march. Dude, Hoy has to block with disciples. 
The side bolt, terrible blocker. <laughs> You're getting it makes your other guys just die. Die. Yeah. You have a. I mean, he has a prowler vanguard. He has a Prowler Vanguard, and he can gank Keef. I think he's going to end up blocking with Ogre and the yeah, Disciple. The Disciple. Ogre would trade with Keef. Disciple will block 13, and he only ends up taking 4. Imagine if he had, like... He can also push for for, for 6. I, I like starting the turn with shooting um, the creep. And the reason for that is, if your opponent has another creep, it... Could only go in front of TA. The board is not getting any wider. Any wider, yeah. And now you can't even do that. I mean, shooting the one in front of Farvin is not bad. It's okay. There is another phase boot. You can find lethal this, this will keep me in, the fight. in fact, I think he might just be dead. I mean, the problem here, too, is... uh. Yeah, there's a there's a red mist pillager in hand, which can push even more da push more damage. You can phase boot the keef out to the force where the four one six is. Oh, he's tracking. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Because he's the other card. Oh yeah, he can. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He's gonna play red mist pillager. I think not shooting that creep um, before he got healed might have lost. Might have lost in the game, yeah. Honestly, he's going to lose the game anyways, because there's, yeah, another, there's march. another march. Yeah, that's true. But he probably could have gone another turn. Okay, he's going to pass. Yeah, so the moment you see this, it's like, you're just like, okay, well, this is kind of GG. No, you can shoot it. Oh, that's true, huh? Yeah, you can't shoot it. So Forgot I guess it worked out. Sort I guess of it worked out, yeah. <laughs> this is like the best case scenario. So now he's going to phase over... And then Disciple's gonna come down. Mm -hmm. He takes. Yeah. So basically, he'll take 13. Yes. He'll take 13. I guess the game isn't over yet. He's. It's not looking. It's not looking great for Hoi. I mean, the nice thing is every. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. They got got one armor. Look at that. He's still dead, but you know. But the, the thing the thing is, everyone has so much armor that he can actually do this to block with. Hold on, hold on. What if he phase bounty over? You do three less damage, but you kill PA. Because you cleave her for four. I'm surprised he didn't phase over. Yeah, you're right. I don't... Well, he, you do three less damage, so... I think the killing the PA there the would have been pretty there. relevant. This is actually so hard because March is gonna come out. Mazzy is blinking over. Yeah, this is it's tough. How much mid is pushing for Hoy? Not enough. It's just fourteen. He well, was like you said, maybe he will put. He, bounty I, mid. I I think his best option here is to actually put bounty mid. If he puts bounty mid, I think he has a good chance because because yeah. him, you know, there's a March, but everyone is pretty healthy. Everyone is pretty armored up. Yeah. Right. He just needs to block. To block. Ooh, one go short of the. Yeah, that would have been. Blurring that would have been huge. Mm, not gonna go mid. Okay. Yeah, he needs to. He needs, I think he needs to block, with uh, or he needs to defensively gank here too, possibly. Does he have initiative? He does. So Keith dies at least. He hasn't drawn any crude grouse. Have they? That's big. Ooh. That's a big creep. Man, this armor is amazing. Yeah, it nothing is dying. This That's is another march. No one escapes me. I mean, the thing is, march in total will only do ten damage right now, if all the charges go off right now. Yeah. I also have a question. Uh, if you double march, right? There's there one instance. Is that correct? Oh, so you're asking so what, about armor? Yeah, yeah. I think they're two separate instances. Because I always I actually forget about this. I think they're two separate instances. Because I do kind of remember seeing something that worked that way. So, who knows. Why did he cast that here? Because he had nothing else to play. No, he could Fighting Instinct and Nerf Secrets and cast it from last lane. That is he true. definitely has something to cast here.
Okay, I actually think uh, Hoy has a shot winning here. I see a crew to push in for four. I see a hip fire to kill the centaur. Sorry, when I say push in for four, I assumed that he was going to coup the Mazzy, but he could coup with Bounty Hunter right now. We never had a chance. Yep, and that pushes in from 19. Uh oh. From a very unlosable position. It's not looking good for Stormlight. He's gonna pick up a card. Another fighting instinct, not too useful. And again, has initiative on the side of Hoi. Okay, we're gonna see if uh, Ailson's right with the armor. Whether it's going to deal one instance of four or two instances of two. If it deals two instances of two, the conscript will live. I think it deals two instances of two. Yeah. This will help. Yeah, uh, Hoy survives. Sort of like dice. You could block with the mercenary exile, but there's there's so much. Man, it was uh, very critical that Hoy just armored up on all of his heroes. Shield Basilius, uh, Stonehall Plate, even gonna gank here, cut out green. I guess green could have played Rebel Decoy, that's what he was thinking of. Okay, picks up a couple more creeps, but none of uh, Stonehall Elite in particular is gonna just get shot by Kingful Turret. Oh, looks like uh. Hoy's gonna do it, dude. Hoy has done it. Yo, all the armor pickup. Yeah, that's what I thought too. The armor. The armor is actually so significant. Oh, the Kingful Turret actually just. Took yeah, that was also did, that also did a lot. Thank you. So, Hoy beat Triple March. And two. Oh, Let's bring the trap. Did you did you see whether it was uh, one instance or two? It was one, uh, two instances of two damage. Okay. Because this guy survived one health. Ah, okay. I guess he uh, he's hoping for double fighting instinct, and there's uh, there's nothing to block with. Only three gold available. Man, Hoy did it. Power of armor, dude. This thing. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Big champion. See ya. Yeah, that was a, that's a huge champion, dude. Plus one, plus, plus one. one, plus one. Enough. Wrecked. All right. Man, Hoy, 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 God. Honestly, H God. H -God. I mean, that that was a tough matchup.